as we get set for the green flag. Brandon Carr, Henry Wheeler. Let's go racing down at turn number one. West Duchak trying to go on the inside. Alex Stanfield on the high side. It's Carr that gets the lead to three and one, two, and three as they uh, ran to the pre-final, lead them into the corner. Look at Duchak. Deep on the inside, he'll nearly drive it off the circuit as he goes way into the runoff area. He still recovers P4 out of that slide, but not for long as he gets dived down the inside in contact with Stanfield. A couple drivers around in the horseshoe. Stanfield backed up there as well. Stanfield losing uh, a lot of positions down near the back of the field now. Oh, and off goes Duchak again, this time in turn number eight. Wes is off. Also, Nate Cicero spun around in turn number five. His day is done. So Cicero is out, and now it is Brandon Carr, Henry Wheeler, and who do we have up to third with Alex Stanfield going wide? Well, how about Aiden Fox, the round two winner, survives the opening couple of laps, a couple of turns, really. As they go through turn 12, we got a side-by-side -side run for the lead. Henry Wheeler is through as he gets by Brandon Carr for the top spot. Brandon Carr dipping a tire on exit there. Maybe a bit too much entry speed. speed couldn't really commit to throttle on exit there that will give Henry Wheeler your lead so far as they come through turn one Brandon Carr still right up problems further back that's the 54 Josh Conker is done uh, his teammate as well in the Marinello it looks like Adam Roberts is done so more and more drivers going out early here as they try to master the elements in OKN stars being a little bit too aggressive we've seen a change in third Nick Turlecki's gone around Aiden Fox. Brandon Carr was a little better than the race leader, but not by much. And Aiden Fox there in third just got back around Turlecki. Headed towards turn 10, mastering these tricky conditions. There's the Ellen Cart followed closely. Oh, oh, Brandon Carr way wide there, pushing the limit in turn number 10. Just kissed the outside grass there on the red and white RPM Tony Cart. So... You know he's pushing. He wants to get national win number two on the season, number two on the star season as well. Continuing to apply pressure. Look at the inside rear tire hike for Josh Holtz, one of the tallest drivers on the field. He had that thing in the air for about a good probably 10 feet going to turn number 10. Watch him here into turn number 12, how quickly he'll put full input, lift that inside rear tire going into the corner. That might have been a little bit much, though, as he loses a lot of ground to Alex Stanfield. He is closing in. Look how close Fox got to Brandon Carr this time. Really close there as Carr rocketed out of turn number 11. So the fight for second and third continuing to get tighter and tighter. And Aiden Fox now seeing how close Carr is. He's going to have a little bit of extra motivation as they close the gap out of the bus stop. Down to maybe three-tenths of a second or so. Another phenomenal lap from Aiden Fox as he pulls three-tenths off. Or another new purple lap for Henry Wheeler. He's not slowing down at all. Brandon Carr, big mistake in turn one as he blows the corner. Brandon Carr touches the dirt, and Aiden Fox gets through for second. Now, can you get back to Aiden Fox? And do you need to worry about Nicholas Turlecki? They've still got three laps to go. It is a big lead for Henry Wheeler, but it's anyone's guess how the rest of the field shakes out. He'll go up the hill one more time. That number 18, blue, yellow, and white. LN cart for Brandon Jarsakrack Racing and Mike Doty Racing. They haven't had a headline class win since Brandon was back behind the wheel. Uh, and uh, Paulie Maslamino was able to get him that all-star win two years ago at the IAMI USA Grand Nationals. Beyond that, it's been a trying run. They've had some KA senior wins. But for a 125 senior class win here, it's been a little while. Henry Wheeler on his way home. The rookie trying to deliver here for the Steel City Showdown. He heads to the bus stop for the final time. And out of turn 16, Henry Wheeler wins in OKN Stars in Pittsburgh. His first career national win.